Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your July 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising signs. So Sag, I will have the decks that I'm using for this reading listed below in the description bar. If you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. All right, so let's see what the month has in store for you, Sag. All right, so the overall energy, Sag, for you for the month of July 2017 is we have the Four of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. All right, so the Four of Pentacles, um, this will be different for all of you. Some of you are maybe trying to save some money. This is a more conservative energy, so there certainly could be some sages, you know, maybe throughout the month of July, you're trying to save your money. For some of you, you're maybe trying to um, purchase something, maybe trying to purchase a new home for some of you, so maybe you're, you're trying to save some money. Um, but then for some other sages with the Four of Pentacles, it sometimes can be someone who's hanging on to, to something very tightly, so... And that can be anything for me with the Four of Pentacles. It can be even hanging on to an idea that, that you have, something, something that you want. But fours really speak of your foundation, your stability, your security, and you do have the Ace of Pentacles here crowning you. So I think that some of you are definitely trying to save for a house. Um, also, there could be some Sagas that maybe, maybe you're trying to change jobs or maybe trying to change... Uh, you know, career path, something like that as well. Um, right at the center, and this is energy that you're dealing with, right at the start of the month, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Swords. So if you're not dealing with this energy right at the start of the month, which I feel like many of you will be, uh, you might be dealing with this energy right now when I'm filming this, which is at the end of June. And the Seven of Pentacles is you working very hard. You're working very hard. Uh, and you're, you're investing a lot of time and energy into something. You're With the Ace of Swords crossing the Seven of Pentacles here, um, for some of you, maybe right at the start of the month, the challenge could be maybe getting things signed, signing a lease, signing something here right at the start of the month. Um, if you are, are a Sag that is maybe moving house or trying to move house, here in July, um, but the Ace of Swords is a card of victory. This is victory after dealing with some challenges. So I think that, you know, for those of you that are asking yourself, should you continue on planting those seeds? Should you continue on devoting any more time and energy into something? Uh, I feel like this is, this is something that you are going to be very successful with, um, but maybe needing to be patient here right at the start of the month is necessary uh, because the Ace of Swords is a card of victory. Also, if you are a Sag that is waiting on more and for on, on, excuse me, more information. If you're a Sag that's waiting on more information or communication, uh, I feel like it's on its way. Just maybe needing to be patient here. Now, at your foundation, we have the King of Cups. So for some of you, you know, you might have water in your chart, um, but this certainly could have been you listening to your intuition or following your heart when it comes to this, you know, what it is that you're, you know, devoting a lot of time and energy towards. Um, so for some of you, I feel like, you you know, this was your energy. You've, you're listening to your intuition. You're following your heart. But then for some other Sages, you know, certainly this could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces individual that maybe has something to do with this. Uh, so for some of you, it could be your partner, it could be a boss, this could be a character around you that maybe has something to do with this. Maybe you're waiting on communication from this person. For some of you, even, you know, with this Ace of Swords here, you know, this could be a person that maybe you're seeking clarity from this person or even the truth from this person. Now, in your recent past, we do have the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, maybe you're dealing with a couple of characters here, maybe a water sign person, but also maybe uh, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn individual, or someone who's maybe very, very focused on their career. For some of you, this certainly can be your energy in the recent past. Um, very, very focused on your finances, very, very focused on your stability. Certainly for some of you, um, 
This also can be the same character. Maybe you're dealing with a person who has earth and water in their chart, um, or some of you are dealing with a couple of characters here. Uh, crowning you, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning, a solid new beginning. Uh, for, for many of you, this is what you've planted seeds, seeds with. This is what you've been working very hard uh, to obtain here is this Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's a new job. For other Sages, it's a raise, a promotion. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles can also be a new home for some of you, but this is what's on your mind. So some of you definitely see you still very focused on your finances. Now, coming up around the second week, we do have the Page of Pentacles, which for some of you, this is going to be a new opportunity, a new beginning that's coming in, an opportunity to maybe make some extra money here uh, for some of you. If you were a Sag that was waiting on news uh, or communication, something on the financial front, this could be that news coming in, especially if you're a Sag that is, um, you know, trying to move house or maybe trying to sell your house. This could be some sort of information or news that's coming in around the second week. In the position of your power though, I do have the Five of Cups. So just take caution with this. The Five of Cups can be someone who's very, very doubtful, someone who's focused on the past, or even someone who's focused on the negative side of things, someone who's very pessimistic. So just needing to take caution with that. Uh, if you're waiting on news or information, it's coming in, it's coming in. So needing to remain positive. Um, and in the position of how those around you are viewing you, we do have temperance. So temperance does represent your sign. So that's wonderful, but it's also someone who is patient, someone who is having to be very patient. Maybe things are happening on divine time. For me, temperance does represent that, that very spiritual divine energy. So things are definitely divinely orchestrated. Things are maybe happening very slowly. Um, and for some of you, that could be why we have this Five of Cups here, um, needing to remain positive. But temperance is also a healing energy, and it, it also represents balance. So... You know, for those of you that maybe were a little bit emotional or maybe a little pessimistic, I do see things balancing out for you. I don't feel like you are going to stay in this energy for those of you that maybe are very focused on the negative side of things or are very focused on the past or very doubtful. Um, you know, something is going to come through here and, and maybe inspire you or give you hope um, because I do see you balancing out emotionally here. Now, in your hopes and fears, again, needing to remain positive um, because we have the three of swords. Now, this isn't happening. This is in the hopes and fears position. So obviously, there are some Sages that are really fearing the worst here, fearing loss, fearing the worst, fearing things not working out in your favor with the three of swords, some sort of disappointment, some sort of loss, um, but really needing to remain positive, needing to keep the faith, um, the energy that you're actually leaving the month of July with and going into August is you actually have the page of, of, of rods. So you have a couple of pages here in this spread. So for those of you that maybe are starting a new job or you are being promoted, um, maybe it's going to be required that you do maybe go back to school or maybe have to take a class. Uh, for some of you, absolutely. But this could be, you know, more news or communication that's coming in here right at the end of July. So for some of you, this is some sort of exciting news or communication. Often for me with the, the Page of Wands, it's communication that you were expecting. It's news that you're anticipating. So some sort of really positive, exciting news that's coming in here at the end of the month. So for some of you, maybe you have a financial opportunity coming in around the, the second week here. Uh, and then we have some good news coming in right at the end of the month that maybe you were waiting on. And for many of you, I feel like it, it has to do with this Ace of Pentacles. Uh, this is a new beginning. Um, so this is really, really positive. Let's see. I'm going to clarify. Let's clarify this Five of Cups, which is in the position of your power. And in, if you're wondering, I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck to clarify. So let's take a look at this Five of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarifying the Five of Cups for Sagittarius. And this is energy that you will be experiencing around the second, third week. 
but I don't feel like it's going to last. I mean, you have temperance here right above it. So your emotions are definitely going to be balanced or balancing out at this time. Clarifying this Five of Cups for Sagittarius. Judgment. The Page of Cups. Wow, and the Four of Swords. So there is a tremendous amount of healing energy, especially with temperance here as well. There's a lot of healing energy that's coming in for you, Sag. So if you're a Sag that has already suffered a loss or a Sag that is trying to get over the past in some way, you are actually healing. A judgment is a healing energy. Temperance represents healing as well. Um, with judgment, you're literally maybe rising up from some sort of difficult time within your life. Um, with the Page of Cups here, another page, uh, there definitely is going to be a lot of communication or news coming in that's very important in the month of July. And with the Four of Swords, um, for some of you, you're definitely healing. Maybe you're going to have an opportunity to go off and spend some time alone. But I feel like maybe because you're waiting, uh, the Four of Swords is a patient energy. It can be things kind of on hold. And this is clarifying this Five of Cups. So because things are maybe happening on divine time or patience is required, things are taking uh, some time um, to develop or to manifest. That could be why we have this Five of Cups here. Again, it's that very doubtful, pessimistic sort of energy. But with judgment here, um, this communication, this news is absolutely coming in. Yes, needing to be patient, but it's going to be very positive with the Page of Cups here. Um, it's going to be very positive. All right, so let me pull you an additional guidance card. And this is my Magical Times Empowerment Cards. Financially, I feel like it's going to be a great month for you. Um, for many of you, you're not really spending too much. I think that you're trying to save your money. And emotionally, if you were dealing with something uh, or if you've already experienced uh, some sort of loss, you are healing. Uh, I do see you becoming more emotionally balanced in the month of July. But additional guidance for Sagittarius for the month of July. Sagittarius sun, moon, and rising signs. What does Sag need to know? pulling you one additional romance angel card um, focusing on matters of the heart love and relationship Sag for you for the month of July but if you would like more insight into the month I am offering on Vimeo uh, July 2017 love and relationship forecast um, so if you're interested in that I will link that below all right there we go this card just shot right out for you Sag Okay, so the additional guidance card that I have for you, Sag, is integrity. Drop the things that offend your soul. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. That's very powerful. Very powerful. So integrity. Drop the things that offend you. Drop the things that offend your soul. Embrace your truth, which we have the Ace of Swords here um, in the challenge position. So for some of you, that's definitely going to be very important for you. Maybe even speaking your truth. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. So what is it that you want, Sag? What is it that you want for yourself? Speaking your truth, communication could be very significant. And also letting go, letting go of, of just things in your life that no longer serve you. And then the additional romance angel card that I have for you is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's a tremendous amount of healing energy that's, that's around you in, in the month of July. For some of you, um, when it comes to your love life, what can help your love life is maybe healing past issues. You know, with the Five of Cups, it can very much represent someone who's dwelling on the past, 
someone who's healing, um, but needing really to focus on the future. And for some of you, needing to forgive. Needing to forgive maybe your parents, but for some of you, maybe who are already coupled, uh, forgiveness might be very significant for you in the month of, of July. And I also feel like communication is important as well. Needing to speak your truth. Um, needing to be true to yourself, Sag. Okay, so... I do hope that you found this reading helpful, Sag. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you're interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttower.com. I do wish you all a wonderful month of July. Take care.